Hey everybody, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Fashion Friday. Today is actually the 10th Fashion Friday, so thank you if you stuck around and watched all the fashion videos, I appreciate it. We just hit 200 subscribers, which I'm very excited about. Going from 100 to 200 felt like it went by like so fast, so I just appreciate all the support on the videos and all the comments. It's been really fun to uh, make these videos for you guys and I'm glad you're enjoying them. Today I'm doing some Warlock sets. I'm actually recording this video on Sunday, so it's been only a couple days since I put out the last Fashion Friday for me, but uh, this week I probably won't be able to do much because I'm be moving into a new house, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of that, so the editing may be a little less on this one, but I just wanted to get it out and show you guys the cool sets I came up for, with for a little Warlock. If you get any inspiration from these or really like any of them, let me know in the comments and let's get right into it. So uh, we're starting out with this set that I really came into it as like a, a god setup. I like to do that with my warlocks. It's, it's kind of like my go-to theme for the designs. I think a lot of warlock armor just has this very um, fantasy feel, explorer or like godly, like very ornate designs. So I like to lean into that, you know, you gotta work with what you got. Uh, this one, um, working with the Astrocyte Verse hel uh, exotic helmet. It's a really cool helmet, doesn't shade really. Um, just have that like on this set, you have that white trim around the kind of galaxy head. That's the only part that really shades. I started out with this, so um, I wanna take those purples and just kind of accent them. Uh, of course, Callus Shader, Callus, Kalos' selected shader came to mind immediately. So we went with that for most of the set. I think the Lux gloves are really a go-to of mine whenever I want some gold to pop. It has that unshaderable uh, left arm, and I think it looks really good a lot of times. It matches a lot of, of the golds in the game, and um, I think it gives some nice asymmetry a lot of times. Uh, you can see a little bit on the right that forearm is mostly white. It actually doesn't get that uh, unshaderable gold on that side. And you have some nice purple on that side as well. For the chest piece, you got the uh, newest donning armor, the Lucent robes. I really, really like these chest pieces. I actually bought the set mainly for the helmet. And I actually don't really use the helmet that much, but I've been using these robes a lot, I feel like. I just love all the designs. It's like mostly cloth, but near the neck, you have that nice metal portion that helps uh, transition to the head since it shaders differently most of the time. And when I'm doing Warlock fashion, I, I really like to do uh, like gradients. I've talked about this before, but it's it's a good way to make your legs pop a little bit more is to have them really accenting the bottom of the robes and your head accenting the tops. I think it's a fun way to mix up shaders from just going mono shader on Warlocks. For the boots, I actually went with the new Forbidden Visage boots. They are a little more armored than the rest of the set. They give maybe more of like a militaristic or like you know, like warrior type of vibe than a god type of vibe. Then I thought that was kind of a cool mix in, you know, have like this god with like armored legs, you know, maybe that's what's closest to the earth and uh, he used to protect his toes. <laughs> I don't know, I just liked how they shaded here. I liked how they became mostly white, gave almost like a bone look to them. Yeah, just kind of, they just kind of fit in there in my mind, even though they're like slightly different thematically. And finally, I just capped it off with this, uh, it's the, uh, Phenotype Plasticity Bond. That was a seasonal ornament, so that probably won't be coming around the rotation, but, it, you know, it's a bond. You could probably swap that out for most things. I just like the, uh, white projection there. Really complex, like, little shape and moving. Just thought it kind of fit on that godly theme. Next set's gonna be a little more dark. Maybe, like, the antithesis of the last set. I was thinking like a uh, royal like hive for this one. These uh, Philomath robes are really cool. I love these robes. They shade her so well. Like so many shaders make these just completely different. Uh, you know, like those those metals all shade usually together, but near the collar there, um, it's gray on this set under the gold. It, it actually shaders really well too. So you can. You can get some inter interesting interactions between your metal and your cloth shaders and that you don't get a lot uh, in a lot of other pieces of armor. So I really love using these. I try not to use them too much, but I think they'll definitely be on 
one of my top picks for uh, early transmogs. But uh, I really started with those, but I was having a little trouble matching a helmet with these. My initial thought was more of a regal style, but kind of had the idea of using this Verity's Brow exotic. It doesn't shader near those bones, don't shader. That's most um, of those Ahamkara based exotics. The bones usually don't shade very well, but I thought it kind of fit in here. It has a nice like contrast, nice like roughness at the, uh, you know, the, the point of focused is the, the head on the set for sure. And I like the way the shaders work behind that bone and really tie it in with the golds. But you still get that like front facing kind of jarringly contrasting to the uh, regal chest piece that you see here. I don't know, I just really liked it. And the way robes and helmet play off each other is the main portion of warlock fashion, really. Uh, a lot of these old robes, especially block off thighs, I've talked about this in some previous videos. You can see Bungie working on robes that show off one thigh or two thighs, and they, you can see him working on legs that show a little more detail on the thighs. Um, like a lot of the Red War exotics that are legs for Warlock have like literally zero detail on the thigh. Transversive Step is the one that comes to mind the most. So from there, I uh, went to the arms. Uh, you know, I actually have a lot of trouble doing regal arms. I think the Philomath arms do a decent job. I actually went with that new uh, donning. I think these uh, shade well. I think that's mainly the reason I settled on them over the Philomath. And I didn't want to use two of the same armor pieces. But yeah, this one, they uh, the arms here really do a good job of accenting that black. Like I said, with these robes, the boots don't matter too much, but I'm using the uh, Channeling Treads Coda armor. This is uh, not the ornament, so you can just do the prophecy dungeon and grab these, but it's warlock legs with a year one armor piece. So you're really not gonna be able to tell too much here. I just like the small details around the ankle on these, but I shaded them mostly black and you can't see too much. So if you don't have these, I wouldn't put too much pressure on yourself uh, switching out to a different boot that you can get all black. And to cap it off, I just did the trials wand. Also not like a super necessary piece didn't find anything I liked too much. You can do the steeplechase bond if you want to play off more of that helmet bone look. But I really wanted the helmet to be the one contrasting feature with the rest of the regal components. So this bond is kind of what I settled on to keep that regal detailed look. I really like how this one ended up though. Thought it thought it looks really cool, that contrasting head and robes. So for the next set, I'm using Probably my favorite robes in the game. It's the Intrepid Inquiry chest piece for the Warlock. I feel like every time I come to these roads and try new shaders, I fall in love with it all over again and it inspires me in new ways. I've done a lot of um, old sets, keeping them mainly like tan or white and playing off of that. But this one, I, I fell into this Dreaming Cast shader. And I just loved the red that came through. And, and I think the... Um, like trim of that brown on near the bottom just like really solidified it for me. So this whole vibe really gave me like a vampire slayer kind of feel. So I, I really wanted to lean into that, go all out and see what I could uh, turn it into from there. So I immediately thought of this Felwinter's Helm. It has this like very medieval feel to the silhouette and um, that's kind of what I think of like uh, Van Helsing. I don't know if that's too old for most of the audience, but it's such a really, really cool movie. Um, the protagonist is going around hunting all these classical monsters, including vampires, and uh, just has this like metal, twisted, like intricate feel that I think matches that kind of vibe. I uh, shadered it to be like a little dirty. This is the shader Shadow Guilt. It came from the Menagerie back in the day, but I liked how the uh, the main portion became this like dirty navy that kind of matched the upper shoulders of the robes. And like I said before, this uh, robe really leans you into doing, you know, like that red, dark red uh, lower portion and navy upper portion. So I wanted to match the navy portion to the head. Shadow Guild also gives you that nice gold trim that matches the like little pins on the lapel of this chest piece. 
for the gloves, I actually couldn't find any that I like fell in love with, but I thought it was kind of cool. These uh, Halloween gloves, they give you these really long nails that have like a vampire vibe. And I kind of thought it might be cool to have your vampire hunter have these vampiric like uh, gloves, you know, try to compete with the vampires long nails or something like that. And I, I really wanted some contrasting points here. So I, I, I actually found a good shader to make them mostly white, but just with that cuff showing with red. Um, that was actually the war brick shader. I tried a, a lot of them to get this look. And I think it, I really like how it came out. The white here just really pops next to those reds and really gives your, gives your character more of that hero feeling. Uh, I think whites always do a good job of portraying like you know, the good guy in a lot of scenarios. And I didn't want this guy to feel like the good guy in this. So uh, to play off the whites, I used some of my favorite boots in the game. Another highlight, another pair that I'm really excited to transmog. It's the uh, old collector boots from Gambit. This is like the only really Gambit piece I picked up for my Warlock, but the way this white snake goes around the boot and up the thigh, so much thigh detail for like year two. I really love these. They shade really interesting. I found some good shaders to make them blue with the boots like tan to be more like blue jeans and boots. But uh, I really wanted the white boots here um, and let the thighs be black so that upper detail really shines through but you get that loud pop of white near the tip of the uh, legs. So And this is actually war brick too which is kind of surprising. If, I wouldn't have guessed that if I had just seen these without knowing. And then I capped it off with the steeplechase bond. Uh, you know, this doesn't shade like literally at all. So there's not too much to say about that beyond this is what I chose. I thought the uh, claws, you can maybe like misconstrue it as like maybe wooden stakes or maybe like a vampire's hand or something like that. I thought it was kind of cool. The, it doesn't shade, but I thought it matched kind of well with the dreaming cast like pops of metal i think that's my favorite set of the week really cool set i just i don't know i just love the theme i really got into the theme it really took me back to watching van helsing super cool movie i don't know if it aged very well cgi was a little rough back then so going back to watch those kind of movies it'd be a little tough but it was cool back in the day i'll say that <laughs> And uh, finally, I wanted to showcase this set sent to me by one of the uh, subscribers, uh, Simoleon or Simolion. Uh, you can correct me if I got that wrong twice there, Simoleon. I uh, don't have some of these armor pieces, but I'll go through it real quick. There's the, I have another world with an ornament that I don't have. Really cool ornament. Gives it that like glowing eyeball in the middle. It's just awesome. And the Mahalova's Choice robes, that's in the archive section. Those, um, that season's Eververse sets are really cool, like a deep sea diver look. But I like the way uh, Simoleon's kind of incorporated them in this design. It gives it more of a, like, mad scientist than the original, like, deep sea diver look. And he's got the Philomath gloves on, which I do have. And the Vigil of Heroes legs, which are... I think both world drops right now. The Philomath are definitely world drops. And the Vigil of Heroes I think is a world drop, but if not, it's you can get it from Zavala turning in tokens. Since I didn't have the ornament, I just used the same I have another world exotic as a base. And then I used the Lost Pacific robes, which is the old Titan armor, if you'd played last year at all. Uh, it does give that similar vibe, so I wouldn't say it's too far off. And he seemed pretty happy with it when I showed him this alternate. But I think this is really cool. It gives this like very mad scientist vibe. We talked about that a little bit together. And I think that's a great look to go for on a warlock. It can be a little tough. There's very limited warlock robes that fulfill that nowadays uh, with sunsetting and the planets gone. But um, I do think these lost specific robes will be really cool if you if you like this look and have those. I think transmogging these would be worth it they got a nice um, mixture of metal and uh, fabric that lets you shader like this and it looks really nice in my opinion I uh, also don't know if I like the boots 
he's used here. Uh, the Lost Pacific robes, I don't know if they would look better either. They, they kind of have a more like military-ish like kind of vibe. So I'm not sure I would use that. I think maybe the Dido legs or um, the old EP boots, uh, which I also am absolutely in love with, the Yuga Sundown set for the Warlock. I think those could look pretty cool. Maybe even the Great Hunt boots. But uh, I think these look good. I just, uh, that interesting geometry there, I don't think really ties in with it. Uh, it's, it's a nice detail, but when you're shadering it all black, it just feels like out of place almost to me. But overall, really great set, I'd say. Um, it definitely made me wanna buy that Mahalova's Choice ornaments. Those, those are just really cool. The helmet on those are really cool as well. But um, yeah, if you wanna see your set, uh, you know, comment below. Slowly building a couple Discord friends. Maybe I'll start a Discord server if we keep getting more interest. If you just are not interested in that and just want to see maybe uh, me make a set with a certain exotic or certain limitation on ornaments, like the ones you have, for example, you can go ahead and comment that below and I'll try to squeeze that into my next video. We're uh, done with this three week cycle of each class and I kind of want to go back to a little more variety, although I might come back to this again in the future because I like getting in the mindset of one class, you know, really thinking about like, okay, Warlock, what are my, uh, you know, themes that I want to go with and attacking it like that. Thanks again for watching. If there's slightly less editing, I'm sorry, like I said, moving in and uh, I guarantee my quality will be back up next Friday. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.